Shana K. Challenge Workouts.com, and I've been talking a lot about New Year's resolutions, and I thought that a great New Year's resolution for you would be to uh, improve your push-ups and your pull-ups as a way for weight loss instead of just having a weight loss goal. So I sent you some email, I sent you an email with some tips, but I thought I'd send you um, a video with those uh, with those tips in it. One way to drastically improve your push-up is to improve your core strength and you can do that through the plank. The plank really improves core strength and shoulder stability so I just want to go through some tips on how to do your plank properly and a modification for it. So your plank you want to have the shoulders directly over top of the elbows and you want to drop those hips till you find that sweet spot where you feel your abs grab. Okay? Common mistake is dropping the head and the bum comes up or lifting the head and the hips drop. So you really want to try and get that plank-like position. I open up my palms to the ceiling and that helps to um, keep um, the shoulder right over top of the elbow. A surprising exercise that helps improve the push-up as well as the pull-up is the dumbbell roll. The dumbbell roll increases rhomboid strength and like upper back strength. And uh, so, so surprisingly, when you improve upper back strength, you'll also improve your push-up, obviously the pull-up as well. But I just want to go through the form on the pull-up, or on, sorry, on the dumbbell row. So you're going to get a dumbbell fairly heavy. I like to have, brace my knee um, on a bench, but you can also do it by bracing your hand or your elbow on your knee. Um, I'm going to use the bench. I want a flat back kind of rest a cup of tea on the top of the lower back. So I don't want to have my hips tucked under. Hips pressed up, uh, head down, and I'm gonna have a start the lawnmower type movement where I let the dumbbell fully extend, arm fully extend, and then I bring the dumbbell to the hip area, okay? Mom. And I roll that shoulder down and back. All right, so that is the dumbbell roll. Mom. And surprisingly, that's going to improve your push-up and pull-up. So the last exercise that I want to show you to help with your pull-up is the jump pull-up and the assisted pull-up. Because a pull-up is a very worthy goal, very difficult at first. So the jump pull-up, you're going to find a bar that's um, not uh, above your reach. In fact, it is just above shoulder width. You're going to have a shoulder width grip overhand grip because the pull-up is an overhand grip. You're going to jump up and you're going to do an eccentric contraction on the way down or the slow lowering. It's actually the lowering that is the strength building phase. The, the second alternative is a, a totally assisted pull-up where you're going to step on a box or a, a chair, get into that high pull-up position and then do a slow descent so that you're working that eccentric contraction. Those are three exercises that you can do to help with your New Year's resolution of push-ups and pull-ups. And for more challenging workouts and challenge ideas, go to challengeworkouts.com slash blog. See you on the other side.